two gates cleared. And we're on to area two. This one, however, requires three keys. So there are three paths we can take down here. And we have shaky viruses. I forget if we've seen those since Battle Network 2. I remember they were there. However, them being on a field of water panel seems like a bad idea, so, uh, yeah, we're just gonna use Colonel Cannon and be done with it. Now, it does mean the Marina virus is going to be a bit of a problem. Be mindful of the bubbles. If you pop those, the anchors inside will fly at you at high speed. And we really don't want that. There we go. Well, now the eddies are just getting fancy. There are areas where you can breach the surface of the water to refill your air. And we got ship key C, so we had to come up here anyway. So what's down this way? Other than a current we have to fight. And viruses we have to fight. We'll see if I can time this right. Yeah, there we go. Rude. Then we get Grass Seed A. Such is the problem of getting caught in an area with a current by a virus battle. But we got one of the keys, so let's take another path and get another key. Eventually, of course, we do have to go down all three paths. You can save a little time by getting launched here. We get some air. Be mindful of that. And we get 850 zennies. Now this time you do have to sneak past them. Dance around the cyclones here, get caught by viruses. Another where if I can time this right, this will be good. That works. And that's ship key B. So, one to go. And that's down this way. 1,000 zennies, very nice. Refill the air a little bit. Interrupted by viruses. They really love to get in the way in this area. That's the big takeaway here. It somehow escaped. You get powered up, Shadow Man. Right, back to the dance. So be mindful of these. Fight against them if you have to. It's a bit of a struggle, but we get ship key A. So with that, we're done. On to area three. Now we can see someone waiting for us up there, but there's only so much you can tell from shoes. Fortunately, there's only one key here, so let's go after it. 
There's some mystery data here. Fight your way to get it. And we get exp memory. Expands Navicust memory map. We can't even use the Navicust as kernel, but they will let us pick this up, but not HP memories. Yeah. It's okay. It's just a little frustrating. So yeah, here you actually do have to hitch a ride with the various currents. So be mindful of that. Well, we can deal with most of this at the very least. You, however, are a problem. Not too much of one, though. Go ahead and refill the air, and we get Airspin 1-0. So you do have to fight your way past these. And then get launched this way. Refill with air, and continue along the path. The marina viruses, they show up a lot. I want to at the very least get rid of one of them. Kind of did that out of order, but it doesn't really matter too terribly much. Gonna be a nice invisible blockade for you there. Can I sneak in and do this? That should be good. Gyroman is coming in clutch! The fact that you can focus his fire, it actually makes him a pretty good summon. Okay, nothing up here, but we replenished our air. So now we need to go over this way. And we get Area Grab L. Unfortunately, I don't think we can catch all three in this. Well, oh, I fired a little too early. I forgot I summoned Django first and then Invis. Oh well. There might have been a way to get them to line up. It would depend on how well the marinas kind of desync their locations. But we're okay. So now we need to come up here, and we get attack plus one. Now we go back, and now we go down this way, and then this way, and then this way, and we got the ship key, and viruses. We got bomb boys. I'll be honest, it's been a while between recordings. I kind of forget if we've seen this virus just yet. Yep, he has a delivery to make. And he will be denied. Let's get out of here. So you've come. I am Tomahawk Man. You'll have to beat me if you want the booster system back. Beat you? No trouble. Let's go, Colonel. Battle routine set. Execute. I'll use you to sharpen my Tomahawk. So, Tomahawk Man. There's a lot to this guy, and he is very dangerous. He can chain attacks with his Tomahawk very quickly. He can either throw it on your side of the field in a boomerang pattern that arcs around and aims for whatever column you're currently on, or he can slash it down the front with a range of life sword. So to dodge that, you would have to be on your back column. Yeah, this guy's dangerous, but there's another reason you probably want to be on the back column anyway, and I'll get to that in a moment. 
because first we need to talk about the totem pole, it's not just there for show. Depending on which face is active, different things happen. Red makes meteors rain down on your side of the field, green shields him so he can't do any damage, and white constantly heals him. You can end the effects early by doing enough damage to the totem pole, or they wear off on their own after a short while. So, his final attack is he can jump on top of the totem pole and do a lunging dive to whatever panel you're currently on. And from where he lands, shockwaves will emanate down all three of your rows. There is time to dodge between them, however. But it's easier if you get him to land in your back column, because then the shockwaves don't really do much. So, you kind of want to bait him back there if you can. That's a lot to keep track of, but there is one thing we can at least take advantage of. He's Wood Element, so heat attacks do double damage. Here come the Meteors. They'll end on their own in a bit, thankfully. But now it's time for the shield. So we'll turn that off, thank you very much. Uh, let's see here. He's gonna try and heal soon, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So we don't want that to happen. Here come the meteors. I kind of just want to turn that off. Up oh, here comes the dive. So yes. We managed to avoid him doing anything really dangerous with it, thankfully. And Shadow Man should be enough to finish him off. So thankfully, I think we got to see everything he can do. Yeah, Tomahawk Man is dangerous. He's no joke. Tomahawk Man. The booster system's mine now. What? How? I took it back during the battle. There are too many bad losers around to take any chances. Grr. Tomahawk Man, this is the end. Ooh, wait! Not Tomahawk Man, please! Colonel, stop! What is it, Len? Let him go. Dingo. Maybe your village was ruined by Ubercorp, but... Would your friends and family there really want this? Using force and stealing the booster system is wrong. Dots. I know. There was no other way. We complained about how unreasonable Ubercorp was, but no one would believe us. We're just country folk. There is another way. Huh? Tomahawk Man, and you, Dingo. Join with us and fight against Nebula. N Nebula? Yes. And when we brought down Nebula, the world will take you seriously as warriors of justice. Then people will listen to your complaints. I you're right. Yeah, we'd love to join you. Right, Tomahawk Man? No complaints here. Colonel, I hereby swear my allegiance to you. The Tomahawk Man on our side will carve through those Nebula navvies and end Area 1. Dingo, Tomahawk Man, welcome to the team. Okay, we'll head into End Area 1 as soon as we get back to port. The ship returned to port with the party cancelled. Nebula was accused of trying to steal the booster system, and one of its members was arrested. Colonel, let's head over to End Area 1. So? That is indeed the plan now. The quickest way to get there for now is probably still going through Oran area. Hi there, Pride. It's finally time for the mission to start? This time it's End Area 2. Okay. So, in we go. So yeah, the ship net is complicated, but if you know what you're doing, it's not that bad. 
it's not the easiest network to get through. But weirdly, I feel like the first area is the hardest to get through on a clean run. I don't know why exactly that is, but it is. I'm gonna hit the mystery data, aren't I? Unless is it something you don't aim at? It is something you don't aim at with a charge shot, okay. Good to know. There are times where Colonel's aiming with screen divide can be problematic, but then there are times where it can be handy, apparently. Cactus Air Hockey! Everyone loves air hockey. I know as a kid I used to love playing air hockey, like actual, real air hockey. Haven't played that in a very, very long time. I think I was still in junior high last time I played it. And I'm 42 now, you do the math. Everything is red and angry. I think we actually need to use the second one, don't we? Yeah, this area gets complicated. Easy to lose track of just where I am. Well, we managed to save the data. Two bug frags. Yeah, farming for bug frags is a thing. It's a thing I am not looking forward to doing on Legacy Collection because I can't just use an action replay code for that. Will you cooperate and get away from the back column? There we go. Cloudman is one of those chips that, uh, way back when I was playing this game, I don't think I used it a lot, so it's interesting to see just how he works. You never learn, do you? He can't pass here. Len, this is it. Line up the dominoes. Ha ha ha. Fool, coming alone again? Don't think we'll go easy on you because you're all alone. Tomahawk man, show him your power. You want this guy taken out? No trouble. You can't win on your own, so you brought back up? So there's one more at the party. You'll still lose. Huh, we'll see. Tomahawk man, carve him up. I'll use you to sharpen my tomahawk. Watch for the swing. Yeah! D Dr. Regal, forgive me. Nerg. Kaboom. See? No trouble. There'll be some more challenging bad guys later, right? There will. That battle really sparked my fighting instincts. I can't sit around here. I want more. And he's off. Come on, Len. No time to waste. Right. And so with that, it's time for the next Liberation mission. And so, that's where we're going to call it for now. We'll tackle the mission next time. After all, we have to see how we got here on the other version. And face a different opponent.